The debating part of the program began today at the Gateway Hotel with Marinville Secondary School on the affirmative side, challenging Koyari Park Adventist School on the topic the PNG government should spend more on primary and secondary schools for free and quality education. The program, spearheaded by Vani Nadis, will see three secondary and one high school compete over the course of three days on debating topics on development issues currently faced by Papua New Guineans. Initially, M Strat School Challenge secured the interest of a good number of schools. However, due to the fact that the competition dates fall in line with the secondary school's examination dates, the turnout has dropped significantly. The winning team will represent Papua New Guinea at the Melanesian Championships to be staged in Honiara, Solomon Islands. Apart from the debating program, primary schools will not miss out as there is also a spelling bee program for the younger ones who will challenge each other to claim the spelling bee champion's title. Overall, the program comprises of debating challenges, spelling tests and a poetry slam to see creativity among the youngsters competing in the program. A notable presence was Dagia Aka, a former Jubilee Secondary School student and speaker. Dagia spoke on public speaking confidence and his debating experience, which in his years was known as the IBS Inter-School Debates. Apart from being an invaluable member of the Jubilee Secondary School debate team, who were national champions in 2012 after defeating Sir Tay Abal Secondary School from Enga, Dagia took out the Best Male Speaker Award from your experiences because it's only when you open yourself up to those possibilities and it's only when you start to look into these things that you understand how important the voice of the young people are. I travel around the world and I'm just 20 and I go representing young people because I believe so much in what they can do and I have no doubt that each and every one of you have that capability as well. Lorraine Gabina, National MTV News.